tiles too hot for bare feet, but perfect for a soothing stretch in just the right spot. This is the El Sheikh Turkish bathhouse, what they call a hammam. It's a special place to unwind in Saida, on Lebanon's coast. It's nice for somebody to still be able to live the heritage, experience the bathhouse. It's a nice feeling. It's a great experience. There used to be a lot of hammams in Lebanon, most dating all the way back to the 16th and 17th centuries. But 35 years ago, a civil war closed most of them. Now, Hammam El Sheikh is one of the few left. Clients from all ages come. Most of them are young groups of men who come, sit on the tiles, enjoy their time inside, then have dinner and order shishas, tea and infusions. Adnan, a Syrian staff member, has been washing clients for 17 years. First, he has them lie down on those hot tiles, called appropriately enough firestones. After that, a scrub and then a massage. There are separate men's and women's hammams. The bathing ritual is traditional in Muslim countries, where Islam requires cleanliness. They're also important places to socialize. Hammam El Ward, another bathhouse in Saida, is under renovation with plans to reopen in a month. It's also one of the last remaining hammams in Lebanon. And Mustafa Kotech thinks that's why it's worth investing $40,000. I'm doing my best to preserve it as much as I can to keep my father's name alive. Clients will refer to it as Hammam of Zain al Abidin Kotech, my father, not the Hammam of Mustafa Kotech. And with the business secured, people will be able to chat together here on the Firestones like they did hundreds of years ago. Sarah Balter, TRT World.